Defeating Cao Cao at Chirbi has saved us for now. With the crisis averted, I must ask you a question. What needs to be done to achieve our goal? We need a home, one that can rival those of Cao Cao and Sun Quan. Divide the land in three to unite it later. Divide it in three? The path you must walk, my lord, leads beyond this division. Benevolence, virtue, a true leader must embody these concepts. If this is something you can do, then you will be the one to unite this land. I don't know if I am capable. Of course, it will not be easy. However, I do know that your people have total faith in you. The alliance between Liu Bei and Sun Quan celebrated a great victory at Chirbi. This served as a turning point as the largest military force in the land was dealt a crushing defeat. However, as long as Cao Cao was still alive, Sun Quan was unable to launch any large-scale counterattack. The forces of Cao Cao and Sun Quan found themselves locked in a stalemate. This came to serve as the basis for Zhuge Liang's plan for Liu Bei to establish a third kingdom, equal in strength to his rivals. In order to do so, he would first need to secure the lands of Jing province. Fresh off his victory at Chirbi, Sun Quan moved to attack Nanjuan within Jing province. If Jing were to fall, then the plan to divide the land into three kingdoms would fail. However, Zhuge Liang had already formulated a plot to win the land without even fighting. Jing is a location of strategic importance. Now that we have defeated Cao Cao, we must take control of it. We should quickly move to attack Nanjuan. But Master Zhou Yu, surely you are aware that the area is defended by the powerful Cao Ren. I understand Wu is eager to capitalize on its momentum, but you must understand it will not be an easy battle. We would be foolish not to pursue this opportunity. Have no fear. The warriors of Wu are better than you think. However, in the event we are unsuccessful, I ask that you come in to secure the area. I understand. I wish your campaign the best of luck. forces at Nanjuan. Lord Zhou Yu has been wounded. Sun Quan's forces are beginning to pull back. Everything is going just as I planned. My lord, the time has come for us to strike. I believe Zhou Yu intended to fall back. This way, the enemy will be drawn in further and easier to fight. If we attack now, the enemy will not know what hit them, and we will easily gain control of Nanjuan. You somehow knew what Zhou Yu was up to. I am most impressed with your insight. In any case, we must move quickly before Zhou Yu realizes what we are up to.
must capture Nanjuan as quickly as possible. It is crucial for establishing our new kingdom. Dedication is your own peril. Take the castle while Cao Ren is preoccupied fighting Zhou Yu. Dedication this is the most peril. excellent strategy. Yeah, tell me about it. I just hope Zhou Yu doesn't fold too quickly. So you are my next opponent. Of course you like all of the others. That sneaky Liu Bei is trying to attack while Cao Ren is away. Send a messenger out and summon our men back. My lord, it appears the enemy has dispatched a messenger. They are trying to summon Cao Ren back, I presume. Yes, you are right. We cannot allow him to return. My next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. strategy. My lord, it appears the enemy has dispatched additional messengers. to lose. This area is merely a pawn in my larger overall strategy. Oh, you just reached another level of brilliance. Curse you, Liu Bei. Come then, we must repel their attack. Cao Ren has returned, exactly as I had calculated. Defeat him, and the morale of his troops will be destroyed. Let us be off. There is no chance of defeat with you on our side.
your own peril. How can my defenses be breached? There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. such strength. Let's go, Yue Ying. We will walk the path of triumph together. Yes, my dear. Juin has been captured. Now we can move on to the next phase of our plan. of my plan and took control of Nanjuan. Zhuge Liang, so that was your intention all along. I am afraid you are mistaken. We only took action according to our agreement. We heard that you were injured and were forced to retreat. Therefore, we merely acted accordingly. How dare you use me like this? I will never forget this. I will have my revenge. I'll give you a special deal on this item. Not interested? in this battle, but we cannot allow it to distract our focus. You're out here all alone? I welcome such carelessness in the ranks of my enemies. I must retreat. This is not the end. 
victory, I grow even stronger. I study hard to perfect my skills. This area. Oh, astounding. that the price for what you've done is high, do you not? realized your skill. I am happy to leave with my life. There is no chance of defeat with you on our side. We have a better chance of victory if we join up with one of our allies. Let's go, Union. We will walk the path of triumph together. Now, we have a better chance of victory if we join up with one of our allies. Let us be off. Remember, I'm counting on you. I have survived until now through this chaos. You shall not defeat me so easily. Xuan doubted me. He believed I was working with you. He tried to kill Huang Zhong. Therefore, I kill him. How can anyone serve a scoundrel like him? On the other hand, Liu Bei is a much better person. Is there any way the two of us could join your forces? I would be delighted to have you join us. 
I have high hopes for the both of you. Thanks to great weather conditions, we had a bumper crop this year. Now we're sure not to go hungry. Well, my lord, I look forward to our upcoming life together. Yes, but are you sure you are okay with this, Lady Xiangxiang? A woman can never be happy in a marriage where she was unable to choose the man to be her husband. Hey, I think you have the wrong idea. Nobody forced me into this. I would never marry someone who I didn't truly like, even if my brother ordered me to. My lady. I'm here because I choose to be. Don't ever forget that, my lord. the upper hand in this battle. If we give our usual effort, then we're sure to win. My lord's ambition. Amazing! You are a swift and deadly warrior. Astounding job. You will be a valuable asset in battles to come. you are here, sir. I want to show you what your father is really capable of. I believe your wits are a match for mine. We move, sir. 
Zan. We must be the dragon that rules the battlefield. We must assist our allies. Follow me. My lord's ambition. Astounding job. You will be a valuable asset in battles to come. I could use somebody like you. Will you come with me? You're pretty good. This should be fun. in the next fight. Sorry, but that is all for today. Another victory in honor of my father. I shall do my best. Don't engage the enemy so quickly. I shall do my best. Give me a chance to have some fun first. complete control over Jing province. Now, you should move to attack Yi. Yi. I had a feeling you might say that. The area is fertile and naturally well protected. It is important that we control it if we are to unite the land. Master Liu Zhang of Yi is a relative of mine. I cannot raise my hand against a member of my own family. Liu Zhang is an indecisive fool. People there will welcome you with open arms, my lord. Huh? Who are you? I invited him here. This is Pang Tong, more commonly known as the Fledgling Phoenix. Creating a peaceful world out of the mess we've got now is going to be hard. I want to help out. Yeah. 